Hey everyone, we're gonna work on the truck some more today. A lot of little stuff, like trying to get this hole sealed up, pull the engine apart. We got some guys over, Alex and Sean. Sean's gonna play with the gimbal, do some B-roll, hopefully you make some uh, a little bit fancier videos. And I'm gonna work on pulling the engine apart. We also need to get the rear end pulled apart on this and try to weld up the diff. I'm not sure if it's gonna hold together while doing burnouts, but we're gonna try it. Try to go uh, cheap and easy to begin with. And as long as it holds together for some burnouts, we'll be okay. Uh, if we break it, then we'll put a 9-inch in it. So we're going to go ahead and get working on a few of these things. Let's start by getting this cover off. I got a new billet one coming from Motion. Clean up some things. I got a new oil pump, so I can get the oil pump pulled off of here. And I also got a flywheel, but that doesn't need to go on quite yet. Uh, so that'll be on this. We're thinking... We're thinking on here uh, that this... I already kind of hit this a little bit, smoothed it out. I think that we can get this set up on here and then uh, just silicone around the edges to kind of seal it back off. I don't think that'll be too bad. Well, we ended up going ahead and getting this mounted up, smoothed out some stuff. It's just got a little bit of gap above, a little bit over here, but uh, we're gonna end up using some silicone to finish sealing this up. Had to use like a self tapper down here on this one, but most of the stock bolts went right back in and held that on there. So it seals that up. I probably need to come up with something too here to seal that up. And then the new uh, steering column over there will seal that hole up. Go ahead and get the engine cleaned up now. I went ahead and removed the top cover, uh, removed the knock sensors, and then I'm going to go ahead and clean up all the surfaces. Just take a razor blade here and uh, just scrape along the surface, just kind of clean everything up. Get the top surface cleaned up here. And get the surface, I already did a little bit here, but try to get it cleaned up. Gonna end up putting new head gaskets on it, so uh, just need to get everything prepped and ready to go for that. So I went ahead and went with the new high volume oil pump, 6,000 RPM for three plus minutes straight. I mean, it's gonna need some oil. Uh, I'm a little worried that it might empty the pan a little bit too quick, but I guess that's some stuff we'll just have to watch. Uh, but definitely wanted to throw a new oil pump on there since I am doing a new cam, lifters, and all of that stuff. Uh, already did this one, it's pretty good, and now working on this one. Hey guys, jumping another night on you. We already got started, I actually had the camera on slow motion, so I'm gonna kind of catch you up on where we're at. Push the truck forward, we got the rear wheels off and we're getting ready to pop the uh, rear end apart so I can weld up the diff because it's an open diff right now uh, where one wheel will spin and the other wheel does nothing when it's spinning so we're gonna get these popped off try to get this stuff welded up I got some more parts coming but tonight's a good night for getting little things like that done so when parts get here we can actually start making forward progress on everything we're trying to make the april cletus and cars with this thing motion just released their regal build uh if you guys haven't checked that out make sure you go check that out uh so we're trying to go locked and loaded down to florida to do some burnouts all right so that's the question how much oil is going to come out of the rear end housing we're going to go with probably not very much but uh, I'm about to find out here in a second. Ooh, she's stuck on there good. Yeah. A few years worth right there. You got a hammer right behind your head if you want to wedge it in there. Right there. There we go. Just don't want it to pop fully because I don't have a bolt holding the top. There it goes. I'm gonna go, oh, hey, actually not that bad. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. Yeah. Surprised there's not much in it. It's a little honey-ish. Yeah. Not bad though. Way better than I thought it would be. One thing I like about being underneath trucks, when you need to new, you can new. <laughs> yep. A little more room under this than old Clyde. Yeah, oh yeah. Clyde skis. Ooh, look at that. Poor thing's gonna be broke one day. <laughs> it just don't know it. Yep, I'm gonna fix it to break it. Got my new fancy helmet on and getting ready to weld this up. So the little bolt that holds the pin into the rear end uh, actually 
It's a little bolt that holds the pin into the rear end did not come out. Alex he manned it right there and now it's all, all rounded out. Hey, but, it ain't uh, only my fault. <laughs> so uh, I said screw it, we'll just weld it in here. So I've taken some time to like clean the teeth right up in there and uh, gonna try to weld up right there. Then over, weld up each of the little corners, get them tacked together, and then probably build a plate that goes in there and welds all the teeth together. Woo-wee! Looking pretty good right there. So, got a couple welds in there, uh, and then we'll probably build a plate for it, but otherwise, it's looking, looking pretty decent. We got that side. My brand new batteries are already dying. And then, There's the other side. A couple of them are pretty good. A couple of them, eh, a little rough. It's hard to do with some oil and stuff in there, but otherwise, uh, I'll end up cutting a little plate and patching it in there and welding it solid. In this video, I'm gonna uh, try to finish up the rear end, welding it up on the S10. I got a little mess to clean up, I guess, but uh, I'm gonna try to knock that out tonight and then Parts start showing up heavy tomorrow, so this weekend should be really good. Um, cam's looking like it'll be here like Friday. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff from Motion showing up tomorrow, and there's a few miscellaneous other things showing up. So parts are going to start rolling. Hopefully we can start knocking this thing out quick. This fine piece of material off of the Mazda when we cut it off. Thanks, Clyde, for the, uh, the parts there. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to cut this little piece out, clean it up, and then weld this into the rear end. We got YouTube live up right now. They've been uh, watching with me. Alex's been helping run the pedal again. And there it is. In all the glory, we have a welded diff. Isn't it just beautiful? So I'm only going to put a plate on that side, weld the four corners on the other side. I'll roll it around so you guys can see it. Uh, just four corners welded there. I can't imagine that putting another plate over here would gain much of anything I mean it's it's stout right like if, if that plate goes anywhere the whole thing's junk anyway oh I just got a piece of metal in my finger hate when that happens so got that done I hang out with the people on the YouTube for a little bit all right everyone that is it for this video let me know in the comments below if you think the diff is gonna hold up in the old burnout truck this is the first diff I've welded up so I figured we'll try it and I'll learn something new from it. If you want to watch more videos on the LS Swapped S10 burnout truck, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.